Hello and welcome to another Ableton Live native device tutorial. This is Jeff from EDM Academy, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the filter delay. This device utilizes filtering in its feedback signal, which allows for more interesting sounding delays. Let's get started. The first thing that you'll notice is that there are three channels or lanes within this device. There are two lanes for the left and right speaker channels, as well as one lane in the middle for the stereo channel. All three of these channels can be used at the same time, but a more common occurrence is that only the stereo channel is used, or that only the side channels are used. If you want only the left side or only the right side to delay, you can turn off the other channels with their respective on-off switches. To the right of the on-off switches are the filtering controls. Here, the position and the width of the filter can be set for each channel. The filter can also be bypassed for each individual channel. To the right of the filter controls is a graphical display of the filter. You can edit the width and position of the filter within this display as well by clicking and dragging on the yellow circle. Next to the filtering section is the delay time selection. By default, the delay mode is set to sync with the song tempo. In this mode, you can use the eight different delay time buttons to select the delay timing of your audio. To set the delay time independently of the song tempo, click the sync button to switch the delay to time mode. In this mode, the delay time is represented in milliseconds, which can be increased or decreased by using the slider. To the right of the delay time are three knobs. The first knob is the feedback level. This controls how many times the delay repeats and how quickly each delay drops in volume as it repeats. The pan knob controls each channel's stereo placement independently. This is useful if you want to use the left and right delay channels, but don't want the delay of your audio to be very wide. The volume knobs control the volume of each delay channel relative to the unprocessed audio signal. At zero decibels, the first delay of the channel will be at the same volume as the dry signal. Finally, there is the dry volume knob in the bottom right. This knob controls the level of the non-delayed audio signal. If you would like to hear only the delayed signals, turn this knob all the way down. Otherwise, use this knob to blend the dry and the wet signals together to your preference. That's going to be it for the filter delay. To learn more about Ableton's devices and for more video tutorials, visit edmacademy.com.